Many videos have appeared on the internet showing glimpses of leaked GTA 6 gameplay and the two playable characters. GTA 6 is one of the most highly anticipated games and fans have long been speculating as to how the game might look. There have been tons of rumors about the features of Grand Theft Auto 6 like its setting, the playable characters, combat and locations, but nothing has been confirmed yet. All Rockstar has been willing to say is that GTA 6 is in development and the developers are prioritizing the forthcoming title over Red Dead Online and GTA Online. That is why it recently went on massive hiring spree and shifted resources from the latter two games to develop GTA 6. Since the final confirmation, fans have been theorizing about the upcoming title and what to expect from it. Some say that GTA 6 will be set in the 80s while others believe the game's events might occur in the modern day era. Nonetheless, some videos have surfaced that if legitimate answer a few of these burning questions about GTA 6. This is Fender Swoop on behalf of Gamer Overlord and in this video I will be broadly explaining the aftermath of the leaked footage from the GTA 6 source code which was going on online since September 18th and I would be also giving some discussion points of what will be the fate of this particular game ever since the leak has surfaced. And I do request you all to please watch this video till the end. If you find whatever information that I'm providing this video helpful and relatable, do please hit the like and the subscribe button and make sure you click that bell icon for more regular news and updates on your favorite AAA titles. So making myself and everything else clear, let's get started. Now a YouTube channel is at the center of these leaks and has uploaded more than 20 leaked videos of GTA 6. If legit, these videos confirm the rumor that GTA 6 will have two protagonists including one female and both are relatively young. As per these leaked clips, the male character is called Jason while the female character is named as Lucia. The most popular GTA 6 leaked video shows a robbery where the female character tries to rob a restaurant by threatening the customers at gunpoint. The same video ends with the police chasing the player and GTA's iconic wanted level star appears in the top right corner of the screen. Because of the nature of the leak, it's very possible that Rockstar Games will remove all the videos that are being posted which are currently available. Meanwhile, another clip shows the male protagonist sitting in a car and trying to do a drive-by shooting. Most of these videos are very short with less than a minute duration. The most notable GTA 6 leaked video shows Jason hiding behind a truck and an NPC trying to shoot him. Jason is also seen trying to steal a lot of cash and dirt bike from a cargo ship container which could be a part of a mission in the upcoming Rockstar Games title. Now, following confirmation that a hacker had stolen GTA 6's source code from Rockstar, reports are now claiming that the hacker has sold Grand Theft Auto 5 source code as well. Now, the publication of extensive video footage recorded from an in-development GTA 6 revealed the information which was later announced that while selling the GTA 6's source code, they also had GTA 5's code and were willing to sell that as well. The leaker who goes by the name as Teapot told his followers on the website GTA forums that all source code and assets for GTA 5 are available. In the follow-up to that particular report, a Twitter user and Rockstar Intel reporter Videotech shared a transaction record showing that an amount equaling $100,000 in Bitcoin was recently sent to an unknown wallet. Videotech claimed that this transaction was evidence that someone had just bought GTA 5 source code for 100k and it isn't clear Videotech knew the transaction was tied to the GTA 5 source code. It's also worth noting that Videotech has since put their Twitter profile on private mode. It should be noted that Teapot has since been contacted regarding whether they sold Grand Theft Auto 5 source code for $100,000 and they have denied it completely. In a DM, Teapot has stated that no, there was nothing on my wallet and in other words, the Teapot says that transaction cited by Videotech was not with them. Tom Henderson is reporting that the teapot has confirmed that the transaction didn't go through their wallet. They should however be lying since cryptocurrency wallet ownership cannot be verified except for the owner himself. Now the leaker who first posted GTA 6 footage has had all the their posts removed from GTA forums. The gaming world woke up to quite the surprise on September 18th as it was discovered that a load of footage from Rockstar's upcoming GTA 6 had leaked online. Fans have been eagerly anticipating the next entry in Rockstar's open world franchise since the hype around GTA 5's release died down somewhat earlier this year. However, news on GTA 6 didn't really arrive until recently when the game was confirmed to be in active development earlier this year. 
Since then, it seems Rockstar has put all of its efforts into producing GTA 6 as it has seemingly said goodbyes to both GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. It also seems that GTA 6's publisher Take 2 is fighting to get as much of this footage removed from the internet as possible, and already content showcasing the leaks on YouTube has been hit with DMCA takedowns, and now the person who first leaked the content has had all their posts removed from GTA forums, which also deleted the thread containing the leaked information in compliance with a request from Rockstar and Take 2. Now, Tom Anderson, the reputed leaker, had given such information in his tweet as well. Unconfirmed reports from 40 minutes ago suggest that the hacker deleted it because his location might have been compromised. The hacker also appeared on GTA forums 48 minutes ago and without posting an update. Take 2 has requested as the GTA forum removed the thread containing the leaked information. In addition, the hacker's account now has zero posts that are live. This information was shared by video game insider Tom Anderson, who had previously provided some early information on GTA 6 right when the year started. However, Henderson's information never included showing off the game well before it was ready to be revealed by Rockstar. It seems that as the situation unfolds, Rockstar and Take 2 will continue their efforts to take down as much of the leaked GTA 6 footage as possible. Previously, the hacker who first leaked the clips claimed that they had the source code for both GTA 5 and GTA 6 as I mentioned earlier in this video and wanted to negotiate a deal with Rockstar. Already, the hackers claim to have the source code for GTA 5 has led to a scam scale of $100,000 taking place. While some gamers are glad to see an early look at GTA 6, many are concerned with the serious effects that it will have on the game's future, including the potential delay of whatever release date that Rockstar had planned for GTA 6. From all the discussion points that I have raised, there is clear indication that Rockstar has not taken this particular episode quite kindly because there were some mix up regarding the leaked footage and its source, its official hacker and whatever content that was available in the social media are asked to be removed immediately, giving particular indications that this is not going down for GTA 6's future. And I also know the seriousness of the situation to which Rockstar and Take-2 would be elaborately dealing with. And if you guys really want to know whatever leaked information or the footage is out, you can go check the screenshots which are being posted by some Twitter users which are still available in the social media domain. And it would indicate the pre-alpha source code and the footage of the earlier stage development of GTA 6. So do follow our Discord server for shorter updates that we won't be coming in our videos. Also do follow our Instagram and Twitter handles for more regular news updates, reviews and other small snippets of gameplays that we would be posting. We will be see you guys in the next update.